Well, hello, sports fans. I'm Harry, and welcome to Harry's Stuff and Such. And if you stick around long enough, I'm going to be talking about a way to keep your filament dry. And in particular, I'm going to be talking about this new item I just got in. It's the poly box from Polymaker. So stick around, and you'll get to see me unbox it and uh, give you a quick review of it. Welcome back. Like I said in the intro, I just got this Polymaker Polybox in just recently, and so I'm going to unbox it and check it out and see what uh, see how it works at keeping your filament dry. So why don't we go ahead and get started unboxing this little puppy? Okay, so that's it. I've got it together and I've got a spool of filament inside of it. So as you can see, you can actually get two rows of filament. And you'll notice here you've got uh, three holes for your filament guide to go through. And you also have three in the top as well. Now as you can tell, you have two uh, containers for desiccant, one in the front, one in the back. And then you have this uh, temperature and humidity monitor. And when I initially turned it on, the humidity in this room was about 44%. And so we're down to 39% already inside the poly box. Now the filament that I had placed in here 
was already in a dry box and I had previously dried it in my food dehydrator. So I know it's a very dry uh, spool of filament. Um, the only thing is, if I'm using this to uh, the spool here to do my printing, and I want to change uh, to a different spool on this side, uh, I'm not. That means I'm going to have to. Hmm. That means I'm going to have to lift this up and then roll this back in and then take the second one and feed it through and I'm not sure if I'm going to like doing it from the side or from the top. I'll have to play around with that and see. Um, I think I would have preferred if these had been in the base as opposed to the top because that way I would have been able to lift the top off without lifting the guide or the filament line. I can lift the top off, roll the spool back up, roll the other one through it, and then I'd be good to go. Right now that's the only thing I see that I would do differently or don't particularly like. The rollers in here uh, roll quite good. They're easily roll, as you can see. Um, so I'm going to give this a try and see how it is. Right now we're at 38% humidity, so the desiccant is working quite well. So I'll probably print, um, what I'm going to do is, I've got some uh, orange filament right now running on my uh, ANET A8. And once it's complete, then I will uh, swap out the orange and blue just to see how well it uh, feeds through. Uh, to the printer yeah. and so that's where I'm at so this is the polymaker polybox I bought this off of Amazon and I will put a link to it and you can check it out and see if you like it and I'll give you an update on how things are going with it uh, as I use it uh, and then I'll also, also compare it to my homemade dry box uh, and see how that works and if you want to check out that video, you can check it out in the future. Um, also, if you happen to like my uh, Vertigear gaming chair, you can check out a review that I did of it recently. I'm really enjoying this chair. Uh, I was wondering how, my, uh, uh, how it would wor work replacing my old chair. Because my old chair I've had for about 18 years and my butt cheeks were just perfectly aligned in, in that chair. But right now, Oh yeah, I'm, I, I'm enjoying this chair. So check out that review too. So that's it. And if you've enjoyed this video and it's been informative and you uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up on that. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. But what I'd really like for you to do is press that subscribe button. Hey, I'm looking for that first 1,000 subscribers. So come on guys, subscribe. You know you want to. And so until next time, I'm Harry from Harry's Stuff and Such, and I'll catch you guys on the backside.